You yeah. said someone who's cultured. Who's cultured. Yeah. Yes. So as I was saying, culture is amazing. It's important. And you know, I said to you again, get this book, Love Languages. Guys, I'm talking to I'm coaching my 20-year-old nephew. So you guys can just not disturb me whilst I'm doing this. Um so so I think for me, right, the most important quality in a person is kindness. I was explaining to you that you know, if somebody is kind and if they are, um, if they have integrity and if they are honest and if they have humility, all of those things, if somebody has them already, you can turn them into a slay mama. Yeah. But then if they are a slay mama and they are not kind and they are not humble and they don't have integrity, in their slay moment, you will suffer with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, we were talking about, um, you were talking to me when I was asking you to say, um, what do you want to do? You, you, the, the core of what you want to, you're going to study law, which is really good, I'm proud of you. But the core of what you want to do is to reach out to people and to help people, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, you have to think about that when you're talking to the girl you want to spend the rest of your life with. You have to consider, do they like people? Because with somebody with a core like yours, you're always going to want to have people around you. Now, if you just go for someone because they're wearing Christian Lobbitons and they're wearing Brazilian hair and they're looking amazing, but they hate people, you will have a hard time in that relationship. So I've given you something to think about today. Yeah, definitely. I'll definitely think about it because for me, it's literally like every time, every time, like every time you see someone, yeah, you talk to them, but you see like you're on a different level. Like what you want, they want, they want totally different and how like they, um, how they see themselves and how you see yourself as well. And you have all the time in the world. You're only 20. So you're not racing. And uh, no, you know, you, we were saying earlier about a chef, right? Your wife doesn't have to know how to cook. I mean, I don't know if <laughs> if your dad hears me saying this, I don't know how he's going to feel about this, but your wife doesn't, know, doesn't, doesn't need to know how to cook. You will know that you're going to work so darn hard as a lawyer, you'll get her a chef. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the most important things for me in a relationship is, are they kind? Yeah. You know, are they, are they loving? Are they humble? When we're having conversations, do they always have to be right? you know all of those things and you know what you don't ask them though you don't go on a date and say to someone are you kind are you humble <laughs> you know you don't go and say are you kind exactly you know but then when you get to know someone you know especially before there's any physical contact when you're getting to know somebody i've got five p's hmm, that you always need to consider Consider what their perception of the world is, what their worldview is. Is the world a place that, is it a horrible place that everybody's trying to get us? What is the perception of their worldview? Because the perception of their worldview will become their reality and when you marry them, that will become your reality. Um, you know, try and consider what their personality is. You know, do you like yeah. their personality? Sometimes, do you even like the way they talk? I am that pedantic. I consider, do I even like the way this person does this to his hand when he's talking? Like, do I like that? Because I like to be in the presence of people who, when I'm, like now when I'm talking to you, I'm here a hundred percent. I don't want to be thinking, ah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also consider what they're passionate about. Are they passionate about things you're passionate about or are they passionate about things that don't clash with the things you are passionate about? Yes. I'll give you an example. You go to church every Sunday morning, right? Yes. So imagine marrying someone who wants to go to Bawa every Friday, Saturday night. Yes. You know that's there is nothing wrong with this person who wants to go to Bawa. I'm not judging anyone. But what will happen is every time he, she walks in or you walk in at 5 a.m., you will not be able to church. 
Do you get my point? So that's what I mean when I say, what are they passionate about? And do your passions not collide? And then you want to now talk, you want to now think about things like privilege and price, but privilege and price, that one I'll have to charge you. <laughs> privilege and price. Yeah, privilege and price. So there are the five tips for me. Those are the things I consider every time I talk to anybody. Perception, personality, passion, privilege and price. Privilege and price, like this thing, you're not even going to find it on Google. <laughs> because God told it to me. You understand? So, so you know, when I coach people, yeah, there are things that I will coach you that you can find on Google. But what you won't find on Google is my energy. Yes. Yeah, different kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um, but these five Ps, you're actually one of the first person I've shared them with. Because I'm literally cooking them up as we speak. Oh, okay. A pioneer. Oh. You are actually one of my five <laughs> I'm a pioneer of the five things. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, oh, okay. yeah. it was so yeah. nice to talk to you. I'm, I'm expecting my email on Monday. I'm going to send right. you my email address to your WhatsApp, right? All right. Yeah. And then I'll get the email on Monday and we can start working. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I'll be I'll so... I will be so glad to work with you. Yes, definitely. And uh, you, will, you will love it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, darling. Thank you. Right, Thank Say you hi so to much. mom. I'll call again on another time that she's free. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you. So, guys, that was me coaching my 20-year-old um, nephew. I hope you got something out of that. Hi guys, how do you switch this one off?